Hello, salutations. What to do is stop the gamer all father to do rag gang. Know the vibes, like the scrub. Let's get it. Marvel's Avengers dropped a bunch of new information about the latest DLC, which we now know is coming Tuesday the 20th. But based on the reaction by players, the new mission is the least interesting thing about it. Instead, players have been buzzing about all the new upgrades and buffs that are coming, which I'll link here. While new content is important, I think Crystal Dynamics should definitely be focusing on adding new features and upgrading characters to make the game more enjoyable. So I'll be going over some of the most anticipated updates players have been waiting for and when or if we can expect them. And at the end of the video, I'll show you some big updates that are confirmed for this year. But really quick, if you enjoy videos like this, it would help me out so much if you hit the like button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That lets me know if I should make more videos like this in the future. So thank you so much for watching and let's begin. The first thing is join in progress. This has been a heavily requested feature and one most games in this genre have at launch. There are a few things in this game more frustrating than crashing to the home screen, knowing there is no way to join back and all your time was just wasted. Now, while Crystal Dynamics has been pretty quiet this year about the feature, thanks to leaks from Miller, there is reason for hope. According to his intel, Join in Progress is currently in testing, which means it's pretty far along and could be implemented as early as this year, just in time for cloning labs or they could decide to save it for patrol mode, which is also reportedly still in development. The next thing players have been asking for is horde mode, or taking back Avengers Tower, or defending the helicarrier, basically a new mode that doesn't involve pushing buttons or standing in circles. Games like World War Z, Ghost of Tsushima, and The Division have engaging modes for multiplayer where you're fighting waves of enemies of increasing difficulty and you have to survive and or defend a territory until it's over. And at the end, you're rewarded with a lot of resources and gear that you can use to get stronger. I played some of these modes and they are incredibly fun. Avengers already has similar missions in the game already, but they're locked inside single player campaigns. Reworking them into a new piece of content that works for newer players and in-game players will add a lot more replay value to the game and make players more likely to stick around in between new content drops. Still no word on whether or not this is in their plans for the next year, but I have personally pitched it to a developer of the game, so let's hope for the best. The last thing I wanna talk about is new upgrades for existing heroes. Now, if you have been around this community for more than five minutes, you have probably seen somebody ask for the MCU Stormbreaker to be added. This is actually something Crystal Dynamics tried to give Thor last year to pair with his in-game skin, but they had to abandon it due to technical problems getting it to work since Thor was designed to hold Mjolnir and the MCU version of Stormbreaker doesn't fit. They also confirmed in the patch notes for 2.6, they plan on continuing to upgrade characters going forward with both combat and non-combat related changes, which is great news. A way that I think they could add Stormbreaker and other upgrades like Captain America wielding Mjolnir is giving everyone a fourth heroic. Instead of changing Mjolnir to be replaced by Stormbreaker for one outfit, they could instead give Thor a weapon change as part of a new heroic, like how Black Widow gains a staff with her ultimate and Jane gets a new weapon with her ultimate as well. They could also add fun heroics for other heroes, like House Party for Iron Man or Lethal Mode for Spider-Man. Let me know in the comments what features you want added to Marvel's Avengers. And if you wanna see some exciting things being added this year, check out this next video. No!